Hi, my name is Kelly Piacese, and I am the employee of the National Navy Medical Center, and I work here about 21 years. I love my job. My name is Sharon Herndon, and Kelly Piacese has worked for me um, since she was in high school. She's like the best employee you could ever want. Always has a smile on her face, always wants to learn something new. I like to meet people and I like to introduce who I am and, you know, and hand out my work to them and they appreciate all the work I do. My name is Mary Ann Madison, I'm Mary, Mary Teresa Burns and Nancy Lynn Pat. Three room, nice roommates. They're like sisters to me. I've been with them four and a half years. Oh, Pat, take your food, okay? I'm right here. Uh, library, we like to check out books there. You can check out different books about different things. I like Garfield comic books. My favorite book is, you ever heard of John, Johnny Appleseed? You ever heard of him? I like to, I, I like to get books out of him. And, when I was growing up, I lived in a small house, number six, but this house is so big. I never had a house like this. This is where I want to live forever. I work in NIH, and I work in uh, K Wash. I, I usually start in the morning. First thing I do is um, eat, eat some breakfast, and then after that, change my clothes and get ready stuff and then after that we just continue working until until like nine o'clock break time and then after break 9 15 and then we'll go back to work my name is Rafael Bermudez um, I'm K Watch supervisor um, two ladies uh, my one of my employers my great employers I will say that um, Tule is very uh, hard work man he does everything that I told him to do, and I'm happy to have him in here and in my place. I like this job. Oh yeah, I'm not going nowhere. My name is Aileen O'Hare. I'm a program participant at the ARC of Montgomery County. I work at the Department of Agriculture. I've been there 21 years, and I'm very much involved in self-advocacy. Derek and I met through various programs at the ARC and on um, trips that we go on every year with a friend of ours who does trips for people with disabilities. Derek and I go out to Red Robin quite a bit. I live on my own in a one-bedroom condo that I own. My folks moved back to Chicago and then they moved out to Arizona and the agreement was that only if the ARC provided support was I going to be able to stay here on my own. Because although I can live on my own, living on your own and having support is very important. Ariana is a five-year-old little girl and she was born with Down syndrome. Everyone that I know that has come in contact with her just tells me that she is a very special child. So while she has special needs, she's also a special and awesome child. Ariana, once she became a part of FICCC, I realized we weren't becoming part of the center. We were actually extending our family. And it's, you know, it sounds like a cliche. It's, the people at the ARC really do care about the children. So there's Ariana with Down syndrome and different other, perhaps another kid may have autism, another kid may have something else, but they're all in there together along with their quote unquote typical friends who are able to, to help her develop and grow because they can help, her typical friends can help her with her speech and language. She helps them too because they can see that just because she has Down syndrome, that doesn't mean that you have to stay away from her that she doesn't understand that she's not able to learn and communicate, but she just learns and communicates in a different way. And I need to make sure that she's in that type of environment.